What's the matter? What's the matter? What? Right. Let's take a moment to review the facts. Our host has just been murdered, and the only ones in the house are the five of us sitting here. Therefore, one of us must have committed this horrible atrocity, and it is our duty to discover who the culprit is. Where is Mrs. Peacock? Where on earth could she have went? I haven't seen her in a while. She left before the storm started. Speaking of leaving, shouldn't we go get the police? It's impossible to leave the house because the storm's coming down so bad and the phone lines are down. I'm afraid it's up to us to root out the murderer from around among our own ranks. Murderer? What murderer? <clears throat> the one who killed Mr. Body. Which murderer did you think, Mr. Green? Nobody said anything about murder. Well, not until a second ago. <clears throat> Didn't you just see Mr. Body's body? Wait, like, who did you say? As I was saying, we must determine which one of us committed the murder. Right. The first thing to do is determine where Evan was at the moment of the murder. I've examined the corpse, and I've determined he died within the past half hour. Now. Miss Scarlet, where were you? I've been here in the lounge with Colonel Mustard since dinner. Do you confirm this? Uh, yes, except that I left the room to make use of the facilities for about five minutes. When was that? About 20 minutes before we heard Mrs. White scream, I suppose. Mrs. White, how about you? Did I say you did? As did you say I didn't? Didn't do... What? Look, we're not trying to accuse anyone here. We just simply want to know where you've been. I was mending the pipes under the kitchen sink when I left to fetch a wash rag. I noticed the closet door in the hall was ajar... Uh, and... And... <sighs> Thank you very much. Mr. Green! Yes. Where were you the last half hour? That's a rather personal question. 
<clears throat> question. I'm afraid it is quite necessary in determining who the murderer is. Well, I'm not. I'm afraid your word is not sufficient to convince us currently. Well, why not? Green! Oh, right! I was in the billiard room with Mr. Bobby till he went to bed. Might we all agree that that is the most unfortunate alibi yet? <clears throat> Plum, what about you? Me? You're a suspect just as much as the rest of us. Right. My alibi isn't very good either. I was in the dining house in the library since dinner. Alright then. We have determined the where for each one of us. Now we must establish the why. Why would one of us kill Mr. Body? Scarlet is his heir. Yes, I am his niece, but I did not murder my uncle. Why not? Because I love him! Loved, spelled L-O-V-E-D. As much as we would love to believe you, Scarlet, no one is above suspicion yet. Well, Mr. Body always beat Mr. Green whenever game they played. Uh, what do you say to this? A lot. If he's not going to deny it, I think it's safe to assume that Scarlet is correct. I suppose. And what about you, Mrs. White? Well, I can't think of any reason why I would do it. Please don't take this personally. I am merely trying to collect the facts. But you did ask Mr. Body for a pay raise, did you not, last week? At which he refused? Well, yes, now that you mention it. <clears throat> what now? If you're gonna speak, man, say it clearly. Well, I, you see, we were in the same brigade uh, in the war, you know, Mr. Body and I. And I have uh, Lieutenant Body to thank for my limp. He shot you? Uh, no, but he did make a tactical mistake, which resulted in my being shot. Oh, is that everyone? Well, not quite. No one has mentioned a motive for me yet. Is there one? Not really. He didn't like my book. What book? On the etymology and extrapolation of diverse species of the Anthurius, and the resulting interactions with the various surrounding habitats. It's gripping. I see. Uh, so now that we know everyone's alibis and uh, motives, what next? And now we hang the murderer! What murderer? Alright, alright. Now listen. I need you all to do something. Did you find everything? How did your examination go? As well as uh, examining a dead body could go, I suppose. It's clear from the marks on his head that he was certainly beaten to death with a hard object. Oh my. Now, I've also been able to construct a fairly accurate map of the house. <clears throat> now, if I'm not mistaken, the revolver was found in the library, aka the room in which we are standing. So I'm going to suggest that it was Professor Plum in the library with the revolver. Uh, are you accusing me? No, I'm merely suggesting. Oh. <clears throat> I propose that Mr. Body, after finishing playing billiards with Green, decided to turn in for the night. Uh, he started going around to all the rooms, locking up, uh, to keep the valuables safe and all. <clears throat> and uh, Professor Plum here, for some reason unbeknownst to any of us, 
took the revolver and beat him over the head with it, hid the body, and went his merry way. Well? Well what? Is that what happened? No. There just isn't a motive for him. I must agree with Scarlet. There is no motive. All right, then let's move on. Was was what? Was the murderer? My uncle beat Mr. Green way too many times in games, so he decided to kill him and hide his body. I assure you, he wiped the bed. Can you prove this? I don't. Why do I have to? I'm afraid your word is just not good enough, Mr. Green. We must yet we have to have solid evidence. Else none of us can be trusted. Let's move on to the kitchen, shall we? Well, well, you certainly weren't lying about the pipes. I told you I was telling the truth. Mm, only half the truth. You still might have killed him. You see, you were mending the pipes, and then, as you see your employer step by with a spring in his step, you were seized with a loathsome fury, remembering how he just last week refused your pay raise. And then, you grab the wrench, rush at him, and beat him on the head! Killed him. But you found him dead. I need to use the lavatory. I'll be in the lounge. I have some anthropological business to attend to. <laughs> Billions. Everybody listen! Wait, Mustard's not here. I'll go get him. Someone has just strangled Colonel Mustard. <laughs> Stop it! It was Scarlet! Why do you suppose that? The safe! Don't interrupt. No, that's what I was gonna say! Mr. Buddy's safe! It's empty! Someone stole the money! Oh my gosh! That's why Scarlet killed the Mustard! She wanted all the money! some things to discuss. Sit down. Oh, help me that. Help me. No. Around this side. That is my bad arm. No, slow down. I, I just, I can't believe it. Colonel 
busted and missed a body are actually gone. <laughs> in the storm. I called the police. They'll be here soon. Well, what are you gonna do now? What are you on this thing? I'll move to a new home. I can't stay here any longer. You could paint on the wall screen. into the dining room and killed him with a candlestick. Then you... Then you killed Colonel Mustard and for... for getting too close to figuring it out. Then you pretended to kill yourself because... so you wouldn't need to get caught. But then you killed Mrs. Peacock to find you alive. Very good. It's such a scholar now, Mr. Green. Oh, oh, I forgot. That's me. Why did you kill my uncle? Well, let's see. He had money, and I wanted it. It's quite uh, as simple as that. What, what are you going to do with us now? I'm going to leave you here till the house blows up. Have fun! Wait, wait, wait! Plum! Plum! When he said explode, did he actually mean explode? I think so. We've got to get these ropes off. Uh, oh, it's no use. They're too tight. Why would he make the house blow up? So there would be no proof or evidence. Where do you think he got the bomb? Or what whatever it is. From wherever bad guys get those sort of exploding stuff. Oh, I knew it. We're all going to... My dear madam. We haven't a moment to lose. Throw some time. Promise set the whole house to explode. He heard. He told us what he was going to you do. You three, disable the bomb. Disable I'll deal with bomb? Plum. There it is. There it is. Nothing's working. It's not working. What should we do? Did it work? 
Well, <clears throat> we're not dead yet. Well, we're not dead yet. Come out here, Plump! I know you're down here. It was you all along. I read the file. I know everything. Come out and face me, you cowardly weasel! Come and find me, you canis domesticus. Plum, how could you? Body's very existence made me malignant hypothermiatic. He was an uneducated, blithering billionaire idiot. Body may not have been as intelligent as you, but at least he was respectable. Yes, I couldn't stand that. He had all the money, all the position, and all the power that I should have had. And worst of all, he hated my book. I wanted revenge. Revenge does not satisfy. Oh, give it a rest, Mustard. An eternal rest! <laughs> Strike three, you're out, Mustard! This isn't a game, Plum! I haven't had this much fun in my life! Of course, that's all going to end when the house blows up. It's not going to happen! I have my best minds working on it now! Oh, Mr. Green! His, his wits are about as job as his suit! He'll never disable the bomb! Well, if we're all going to die, you're coming with us! Colonel Buster, how can we ever thank you for saving our lives? You are forgetting, Miss Scarlet, that it was you who disabled the bomb. I hoped. Poor Mrs. Peacock. She and Mr. Body can rest in peace, knowing that justice has been served. I pity the professor. Don't waste your pity on him. He isn't worth it. He is a lost soul who had to resort to dreadful measures to accomplish his goals. But I believe we should pity him in some sense. I finished mending the kitchen pipes. Why? What for? <clears throat> Nobody's going to play with me. Well, not anymore. I've been thinking, this house isn't so bad. I was thinking about staying. And I could hire Mrs. White and give her, her more money than usual. I would be delighted. Well, it sure has been an interesting week. And unfortunately for me, it must end here. Miss, madam, sir, I'm off to the trial. I've been called on as a witness of the murder of Mr. Martin. Shall see you all in due time. Farewell. Well, we must to play more billiards. Well, I have matters to attend to. Oh, Miss! Whatever shall we do with the professor's book? I haven't a clue.